Welcome to the Dope Teacher Podcast. Are you a student looking for a career path that's both fulfilling and in high demand? Look no further than the building trade. From carpentry to plumbing, electrician to HVAC technician, the building trades offer a wide variety of careers that are essential to the construction industry and provide a stable and lucrative career path. This podcast is dedicated to exposing students to the many opportunities available in the building trades. We'll be speaking with professionals from the industry, exploring different career paths, and offering advice and guidance for those interested in pursuing a career in the building trades. Whether you're a middle school or high school student exploring your options, or a college student looking for a new direction, this podcast is for you. So sit back, relax, and join us as we explore the exciting world of building trades. Hi, my name's Nicole. Hi, my name's Emily. And welcome to, to the, the Dope, Dope Student, student Podcast. podcast. Okay. In today's podcast, we're going to be asking Mr. Mr. Brown some questions. Um, what inspired you to become a plumber, and how did you get started in the field? Um, that's an interesting question. Um, I think, honestly, at the time when I was younger, there was a lot of things that needed to be fixed in my house, and I didn't have the money, you know. So I try to fix things on my own, and then... It, during, during that process, I realized that I'm actually good with my hands, and that allowed me to go to trade school and, um, you know, grant, earn those certifications that would help me um, land a job in the field. What kind of training and education do aspiring plumbers need to pursue this career? Um, you know what? I would say there's a few options, actually. You can do the technical school. Um, you can do, I, and I feel like my students, what they don't realize is, like, you know, they have it. They have it made because they're actually learning this skill inside of high school. Um, so the CTE program is golden for for students. But the other options are um, to just work as an apprentice, or you know, work underneath a master plumber or a licensed licensed plumber who will help show you to show you the ropes. You know, um, any other option is the union. You can take that route. That's like a five year uh, five year process. Okay. What are some of the most important skills and qualities that make a successful plumber? See, I, this is a tough question for me because, like, I feel like you can have all the skills and you can have, like, the knowledge, but your character could be, like, really, really whack, right? So for me, I would say character first, character, integrity, um, Having taking care of responsibility, and then you know, of course, you want to you want to know what you're doing. You want to know the skills. You want I mean, you want to have the skills for the trade. Uh, you know, so and I and I think a long time that comes with just building with people that's better than you. Can you describe some of the typical tasks and responsibilities that plumber perform on a daily basis? Yeah, anything that's leaking, basically. <laughs> anything that's leaking out, whether it's gas, whether it's water. Um, Troubleshooting, replacing toilets, replacing faucet, washers, wax rings. Um, it, the list, the list goes on. Bathtubs. Um, so yeah, anything that's leaking, plumbers, you know, their job is to repair it or to stop it from leaking. What are some of the most common plumbing problems that homeowners and business encounter? Um. I think depending on how old the home is or, you know, the business, the company, um, the building, a lot of times, like, you might run into these places and you'll see old copper pipes that's, like, green and corroded and it's leaking. Um, or it, could, it, could be a, it could be a leaky uh, toilet, you know. It could be an old wax train need to be replaced. Um, or it could be a leaking faucet, like, the, <laughs> the list... And I think that's why plumbing is so good because, like, you're always going to need a plumber because there's always something wrong. But the list goes on to answer your question. How do plumbers use technology and specialized tools to diagnose and solve plumbing issues? Yeah, so I think uh, a, few, a few tools that come to mind is the ProPress tool. Um, it's easier to use to, um, to, to, to put a fit into a copper pipe. You know, you guys, y'all use copper pipe. Y'all soldered before. Um, with the pro press tools, you don't have to solder. You don't have to bring out fire. You know, you just take the tool and you you press it, press press the button, and then the fitting will attach to the copper pipe. Um, of course, cameras like when you're snaking out 
a drain pipe. You can actually look at the camera and see what you're doing. Um, you know, different uh, different type of gas detectors and all that stuff like that. So, yeah. What are the, some of the safety precautions that plumber need to take while in the plumbing system? Um, <laughs> I would say knee pads. Plumbers, like, they're on their knees a lot, bending down. Um, a lot of plumbers have, like, mess up backs and stuff like that. Um, so I would say knee pads is one of them. Um, I would say safety glasses, like, especially if they're, like, underneath the sink. Um, a lot of times, like, stuff fall into, fall into, fall into your eyes or something like that. Um, the other one I would say, um, like, a flame torch. I mean, I'm sorry, not a flame torch, a flame shield torch. Uh, a lot of times when you're soldering something, um, you don't want nothing to catch on fire or anything like that. And you just want to be mindful about what you're, what you're soldering. Um, yeah. What are some of the challenges and rewards of working in the plumbing industry? The challenges? Um, I would say the challenges is, I would say, like, people, people really don't have, like, really don't show you grace, you know, especially, like, when you're young, coming in, trying to learn. Um, some people kind of tend to look down on you, and, you know, and they, they quick to say, oh, you don't know something. Right. Or you're going to have a good day. And then you, you gonna have a good day and then you're going to have a bad day. Some people, they tend to like remember that bad day uh, more than that good day. But the rewards, I would say, is just like, you know, learning the trade, learning the skill. Like, I feel like as long as you have that, like, you can always make money. Like, you can always help people. You can always help yourself. Um, what kind of career opportunities are available for trained and licensed plumbers? Plenty. It's, it's, it's endless. It's endless. Just go, go to ND, type in plumber. See how many uh, jobs pop up. Um, you know, you have different routes and different avenues that you can take, um, you know, because it's like you, you, you have your guys who just do repairs and stuff like that, and then you have your guys who do commercial plumbing. Uh, then you have, you know... First, you got commercial plumbing. You have residential plumbing. Um, you know, you have people that work out there in the streets. Um, how can middle school students start preparing themselves for a career in the plumbing or other skill traits? I would say just start researching um, and, and, and conversate with your teacher, Mr. Jarrett, you know. Um, get his input. Talk to your parents about it. And just research. Research the... Um, how much money you will make, you know, what does it take to, uh, to do the job, and see if it's for you, see if it's in your heart. Okay. Um, what kind of courses or certifications should students consider if they want to pursue a career in the plumbing? I, I would definitely just start with OSHA. I would start with OSHA. Okay. Um, what are some of the potential benefits of pursuing a career in plumbing instead of a traditional four-year degree? Money. Yeah. You. Um, okay. Uh, what kind of support and resources are available for students who want to learn more about plumbing or other skills? Traits. Um, I'm sorry. Say it one more time. Uh, what kind of support and resources are available for students who want to learn more about plumbing or other skilled trades? Yeah. So I think, again, um, you know, CTE, plumbing, mass bomb, Mr. Brown, where I'm at, I think. Right there, that would be a, a great place for our students to start. Um, yeah, because it's literally, you will be learning the same thing you would be learning if you was to go to a technical school. Um, how does your high school plumbing program prepare students for the workforce or further education? Yeah, so I think it, it, it varies, like, with that question. Because, like, one of the things I really try to strive to, like, you know, teach these students character. Because, again, I think before anything, your character will take you places. Your skills won't, right? Then next, we have your skills. Uh, I try to do my best to uh, in equip these students with um, all the hands-on knowledge I believe they would need out there in the field. Okay. What advice would you give to a middle school student who, are, who is interested in exploring plumbing as a career path? I would tell them, so check out Mr. Brown, Plumbing Tech on Instagram. 
and see if it's for real. Okay, so that's it for today's episode on the Dope Student Podcast. Bye.